All right, good morning. Uh, we're here today. We got to make some uh, handrails for super sailfish. So we pulled out the saws and the all the other tools and started uh, cutting and cut out a couple along the way. I was using uh, spruce today. Just uh, grabbed a two by four and was trying to find some nice clear parts of the two by four to make uh, these. So we, we did finish. We did actually end up with two uh, nice looking handrails. When we're done using our uh, pattern. So normally we'll cut, we'll take this pattern, we'll set it and set the uh, saw to get the width. And before we've worked with the one by dimensional lumber, so which is actually shaved down to this three quarter inch. So we cut them out of that. But today we had a two by four and I'll just get right to the end. By the time I got done flipping things around and laying it out this way and laying it out that way, it finally dawned on me that out of this two by four piece of lumber, you can get uh, two that way. And it, with the double thickness of the lumber, you get a total of four out of this one of, one of 41 inch chunk of lumber if you can find it uh, clear and by clear i mean you know nice grain here not uh not uh, loose knots this little this is a tight little knot here it's not too bad you get into some of this other bigger stuff and you, know, you can scratch stuff out of it that's not going to be good for a uh, handrail so i cut uh, four blanks out and then you can see it's got some knots in it but what you can do is you can cut around them because when you lay your pattern on there you're not going to be using that and you're not going to be using that same with this next piece it's got a little a little knot up there so that's going to get trimmed away and make uh, excess uh, waste and you end up with a little cut out That looks like this, which actually does it, which actually makes a pretty good uh, grab, hand grab to put on either side of a top of a sunfish uh, dagger board. And that's probably what Alcourt did because they're way ahead of us when they're figuring out how to optimize the use of lumber. So, and then with this one here, so once again, you can cut that out. So even if you've got a few little knots or pin knots you're good to go and by pin knots i mean something real small real hard you could poke it with an awl and it doesn't move in fact try to drill through it it's going to be harder to drill through that than the rest of the uh, lumber but there are considerations on how it's oriented there are different directions there may be a strength issue there but uh, we're gonna take these in we're gonna ship them off the uh, buyer is going to drill their own holes so they can line it up with the holes in their boat. It should be pretty standard, but I kind of hate to send them off if the uh, if the fastener holes they're using are still good and have it get there and have their fastener. My hole be off just a little bit from where their fastener is. So tools we use, uh, we use this uh, table saw to cut a piece of wood to... Uh, to the basically the height and then if it's not already one by dimensional lumber then we can rip it and get the width out of it once we do that I tried to write it down to where it's sequential then my little notes say uh, and we trace out the pattern on the wood and then we come and we cut these end pieces off and then we go get our with our jigsaw we cut those off next it says we route the top so we come in with this uh, router with a little 1 8 inch router bit and we go along the top of the blank and why don't we go ahead and cut the handholds well if you can route the top get this top edge rounded over and it just gives a better base for your route router to glide along as opposed to cutting the little handholds first and then trying to go and route and 
trying to follow this little narrow thing. So let me back up, cut to length, cut to width, trace it out, cut the top. By that I mean the little top ends. Route the top with the round over. And then cut the bottom. If you got a good enough jigsaw, fresh enough blade, you can actually stack them and do it at the same time. And I think our buddy Scott mentioned this at one time also. Like, you could trace it out, and you could cut two at the same time here, and then go and rip them apart and have them uh, all come out nice and, um, and symmetrical. And speaking of symmetrical, I do have a full-size pattern here. But uh, it's dawned on me, and what I'll do now is I'll just basically use half of this pattern. I'll trace this. I'll go down this first loop, about halfway down this second loop, and then I'll flip it. And I'll get it lined up. And then I'll just continue tracing using the same edge so that we end up... Primarily, I've found variations with this little end piece here. And I tried to make... We'll follow down. I tried to make this end piece with the same curve, and I tried to make this loop the same as that loop, the same as that loop. But if you use the same half pattern, then you're going to limit those variations. So we got uh, two ready to go. We got some blanks cut out for next time. Spin you around to the right here. I did have a uh, one where I cut and found a knot that didn't like it actually gonna crack right there and then I've got two that are they're in pretty good shape I need to sand them up a little bit to have a couple knots and I have one divot right here that I'm gonna fill with thickened epoxy sand it and varnish it and it's uh, plenty strong I've put it down and tugged on that it's uh, not gonna go anywhere especially with the epoxy in it so if you're interested in a set I'd probably let these go for around a hundred bucks with including shipping as opposed to our normal 135 so with the knowledge that it's going to have some uh, thickened epoxy on it and the last thing today is we were able we had a something we wanted to try out using our little rv generator it's 4000 4 kw to see how the little saw did and uh, so it ran the uh, table saw and then it also ran the router while the air conditioner was going inside, so we're happy. You could hear it drag a little bit when the saw started, but it worked good. So I hope y'all are having a great time, and we're going to pack all this stuff up and go on a little adventure. That's it for now.